Oh boy, oh boy, I have been waiting a very long time for this game. Basically, I'm like a dinosaur in a meat factory. I am so excited to be playing this game. It's just come out today. As I say, I've been waiting a very long time. The last game I played Jurassic Park-wise was Operation Genesis. I think that was 2003 that game came out. And, um, yeah, that was a long time ago. I used to play the hell out of that game. It was such an awesome game. And this is basically the up-to-date modern version of the, the game made by Frontier. And obviously Universal is doing all the Jurassic Park shit behind the scenes. <laughs> but basically, we're going to get stuck in now. As you can see, I've already had a quick go on the game. is obviously a load. It's my personal save. You're not having a look at that. It's personal stuff. So we're going to be starting a new game. I just can't wait to get stuck in and show it on my channel. I have been waiting a long time. As I keep repeating myself, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm not going to play that song though. I've, I'm going to have to turn down the music though. As much as I love the Jurassic Park theme tune, <laughs> I don't really want to get copyrighted. Um, it does play quite a lot on this menu and I'm just hoping the other songs actually in the game don't get copyrighted too. Now YouTubers these days, they like to copyright themselves just for being absolute idiots. I'm going to try and keep this one family friendly. Normally my things ain't. But this one here, I want to because obviously it's Jurassic Park. It's got to be a 12A. Mind you, some of the 12A movies nowadays do say a lot of swear words. It was I can't remember what it was. Ready Player One. That said a lot of um, a lot of swears going on in that movie, but it was such an epic movie. Anyway, I'm drifting. Let's get stuck in to Jurassic Park. Oh, my bad. Let's get stuck into Jurassic World Evolutions. I keep wanting to call it Jurassic Park. To me, it's still Jurassic Park. I don't know, it was a massive fan when I was little. It was basically my childhood. Um, we're going to get stuck in. Let's go for it. Can't wait! And here we go. Hello. Oh. May I say welcome? Oh, yeah. My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me. Especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage. If you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only if only there had been five. Can't interrupt the gold bloom. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should. Because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big angry hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready before you try that. And here we go. Our oh, not so great park at the moment. And there we have it. So basically, I'm not going to talk over the dudes. Oh, bloody hell, gobshite. You. you should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> what a joker. Right, loser. Right. So here we go. Placing an enclosure. It's basically giving a tutorial. We're going to put it basically there where it wants it. <laughs> and then they get building. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> Because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Okay. Well, there it is getting built up. That is going to be where our dinosaurs hatch. You'll need to connect it to the oh my god, I'm trying to speak to my dudes. Basically, to get on the power grid. Obviously got to have power, but obviously got to have a pavement. There we go, connect it up. Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Right, so basically it's telling us to click on the hatchery of the Hammond creation lab. And then incubate dinosaur. He's probably going to talk again because he likes to hear himself. But basically, we're going to Strifomimus, if that's how I pronounce it. I'm going to so bad at pronouncing these dinosaurs. Of the ambitious the gold bloom speaking, sure. Playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time and a next. 
Anyway, if you can't hear the volume very well, I'm trying to get the levels right without getting things happen to me. Things happen badly. Um, but obviously it comes up there if you can't see it, so if you can't read then get someone to read for you. Here we go, we're going to release our first dino into the paddock. Here we go, look at the little intros they have for this. It's pretty awesome. Obviously that thing isn't pretty awesome. It looks like you're going to have it for Christmas. The most precious moment. The result oh, are you are, Sam. Bloody hell, it's trying to attack our face. What vicious get. Genetic mutations and what is it doing? Combinations, chaos, all gonna go for a slur. Living, breathing, thinking being, so there we go. You'd be quiet, Goblin. I mean, Ian. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. That's our first dinosaur. This is where it begins. He's having a bit of a slurp. Oh, for Christ's sake. Entertainment and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Right, so basically we've got to choose one and they're going to give us rewards every time. There's going to be some money. They sometimes give you... Um, what have they give me on my other one? They give us some research. I think they give you some dig sites too, and different buildings. I think the entertainment one gives you some buildings. I think I chose entertainment last time, so I'm... You didn't see it, so I'm going to choose entertainment again, so we can hey, go through it. I'm Isaac. Plenty of talking, anyway. Things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical. And painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with numbers, bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. This guy, these people love to hear themselves. So basically, <laughs> we're going to build whatever the hell that is. Right, let's... Oh, for God's sake, let me speak, fella. It's inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So basically, it's telling us what to do. This is like a tutorial to get you going. Eventually they do kind of leave you to it. But um, this is basically where I think this is how a helicopter goes to go to dig sites, I think, if I remember rightly. I'll plonk so it there. One more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. I think I've got that to the door. Okay. Did I shit? That is like I have a little pathway. It does totally got that wrong. That is brilliant. What a mess you're making. Put that there. That's the way out, honest. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Okay, I didn't hear a word you said, but I'm gonna say nice, thank you, very much for that lovely information you just give us there. But basically, the it's gonna talk again. Is taking notice of your success as your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. Right, oh, fuck. I thought he was going to talk again. So basically, that's where we send our little dudes to go get the dinosaur fossils. Um, it's going to talk again. There we go, entertainment mission one. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> Dude, anyone with an afro is a winner. Just ask people that play FIFA. <laughs> anyway, we'll get, oh, for Christ's sake, let me speak. I'm just going to zoom through this. If you want to read it, I'll put all three of them up for you. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. So basically, I'm, I'm just being quiet if you want to listen to it. I don't know if you can even hear it, but there's so much talking going on right now. I'm as a sitting here, be quiet. Of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Okay, cool. Now let me speak. So basically, we've clicked on Expedition Center. 
And now we're going to view the map, and this is a map where we can go. It's probably because I'm going to gobshite and talk in a minute. So most of them are unlocked. It's, you know, obviously it's the starting map. But look at that, there's loads of places we can go. First of all, I'm probably... There was a mission, wasn't there, to get the carnivore. That's in there. We're going to set our expedition team there. And we'll go back there, and the helicopter will fly off. Let me talk, fella. If you want to take over, be my guest. Get a YouTube channel. But there he is, going to fly in away. I hope he's not running to that hill, because it'll be devastation for that guy. So basically, we've just got to complete our little tasks. Supposedly it's simple. Attract visitors to your facilities. Brings in capital. Money, huh? Which means uh -huh. you do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs. And there you go. A circle of life. Development and resources. That path is really annoying me. I can't have it there. Sorry. So basically, now uh, we're just going to wait for that dude to come back. I think we can have a look, see what we've got here. We've got obviously the emergency shelter, I think, uh, storms and escaped dinosaurs. And the T Rex is running loose. You don't really want to get bitten in the face and die. And it's absolutely lashing it down. Oh, before I go back onto that, we can name our dinosaurs, which is even awesome. Arura. I've just do done it totally wrong. Basically, loaded up with the R. I don't know why it gives us a view of looking down at that far, it's probably a way of doing it. We're going to name this one Bob. Just short and sweet Bob. If anyone does watch this, let me know what you want to name a dinosaur. Um, leave a comment and I shall name the dinosaur after you or after a, a certain object. Hopefully it's not too adult orientated. Like... I can't really say because I'm trying to keep this friendly. So basically we've got a hotel going, we can build, we've got a gift shop, which I might actually build for some bit of income coming in. So I might plonk that there so the guests can go, oh hey, you got a gift shop and one crappy dinosaur, it looks like you can find it on a Christmas dinner. Um, I'm going to wait till that's actually built this time, I'm not going to go steaming in. Our dinosaur, our dinosaur, the dino helicopter, I think has been shot down somewhere. Should be coming back soon. No normally take that long to be honest with you. I'll wait till that's complete. But yeah, we're, we're gonna probably actually cut this off here and make a, a separated pen because basically that's gonna release carnivores and herbivores and all that. And we don't really want the carnivores running after old Bob there because Bob will be ending up into a, a mincer. Because the next dinosaur we're going to be, well, he's just landed there. Next dinosaur we're going to be getting, we'll eat Bob. Can't be having eat, someone eating Bob now, can we? What the hell is going on with this path? <laughs> the path's having a special moment right now. I have no idea. Why does it go there and then over there? There we go. Basically, that's connected. Our gifts, we're going to check what we can do with the gift shop. Jurassic World's premier gifts shop. Could add that on the end. Lunch boxes. Oh, I can't leave without a lunch box. I was so tempted to put night vision goggles, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to raise it up to around twelve. A great bargain. Actually, fifteen because I'm not a bargain person. I am David Dickinson, and I don't paint myself for creosote. So basically, we're going to click on that, and it's going to talk again. And amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting. Finch, go away. So basically, the amber ones are the best ones. Um, obviously, they give us more DNA for the dinos. And I'll show what I mean in a minute. It's basically, G fossils. These are the fossils which have come back from that helicopter where they've gone to the dig site. And basically, we can even make old Bob there better. And basically the better it is, I think the more people, the rating of that dinosaur goes up. So it is pretty cool, you've got to get the dinosaurs, as I say, in the movie, bigger and the better. So there's a trike there we can get, as I say, that's a two star fossil, there's a three star fossil. I think the four star might be the um, amber, I'm not going to put my name on that one. Um, and also you can actually sell the dinos too if you're not keen on that one. I think we're going to... Extract that one, extract that one, and you know what, I'm just going to extract that one too. And extract that one. And we'll get dinos for days. 
I'm gonna extract that and make it. Bull Bob there, an absolute killing machine, do you know? What? Um It's actually a decent trike. I'm gonna come back to that one. So basically once we're gonna build the pen before the episode hopefully doesn't end as soon as I start building this. I'm gonna make like a little pen. I say little, that's quite big, isn't it? Get him some water. I don't really want old Bob there getting absolutely minced. Uh, I don't know if that's even connected. No, we're going to have a, a dinosaur, going to munch on Bob. There is a way of checking if it is on keyboard, on obviously PC, and press M. And it kind of shows where obviously the fences are for your dinos and where everything is. And if it's a dino diseased or injured, it'll show up there red and it'll tell you. We'll probably get to that soon. I'm jumping ahead of myself. And it tells you all your facilities, obviously the power stations and the fossil center and things like that. And now we've got a new dino. He's a mean machine. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grizzlies. The gold bloom speaking. Quite a problem. Okay, didn't say very much. Was that really worth it, man? But um, all right. I don't know. I'm gonna check if all the fossils are done there first. No, I'm gonna wait till that one's done. I'm gonna do the trike now. So we're doing them all, man. We're doing them all. Right. And now all we do is going to hatch this beast of a machine, even though it's not really a machine. It is 54 rate, well, 54% dinosaur. Obviously it has different stats here as attack, defense. I have a feeling there's <laughs> going to be a lot of people building dino battle arenas on this game. I can just feel it right now. And obviously it shows its rating there is 71. You can modify them too. I don't think we've really got anything we can modify it with right now. No, we haven't really got anything. I mean, we've got that. I don't know what it really... What does it do? Um, it does resilience and rating goes up by 3. You know what? We're going to modify it. So they, there we go. We're modified. Oh, I can't even pronounce... These dinosaur names I'm not going to pronounce at all very well. So basically we're going to wait till that one's getting ready. Oh! Oh no, Bob! 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 Oh god, Bob. Bob, you stuck it in. I, I was meant to wait till you're out here. Bob is actually in the release pen, and I think Bob might actually be a goner because I don't have an AC. Do I have an AC unit? <laughs> you know what? I might actually um, see how much an AC unit is. Basically, an AC unit. We've got a ranger station is for when the dinos ill, and they go around feeding the dinosaurs and basically maintain, basically sort out the park with any failures. Because the power can shut down, you can send your rangers to go and fix it. So the AC unit puts the dinosaurs to sleep, which I might have to do because I don't want to see Bob die. That's our first, our first little offspring. Not personally, I didn't actually mate with the dinosaur because that's just weird. Oops, didn't mean to go that far. Anyway, Bob, I, I have a feeling you're going to end up as a mincemeat. But we actually haven't got a pen ready for our. Little dude, I'm trying to think where to put these pins. Um, I think I might put it. I'm going to destroy trees. If there's any eco warriors right now, I'm really sorry. If you strapped yourself to a tree, I'm just going to let my T Rex munch on your head. Even though I don't have one. Just in my dreams. That was my favourite dinosaur as T Rex. I think it's probably most people's of the Velociraptor. In fact, tell me what your favourite dinosaur is in the chat. And yeah, that's it, really. Let's see what your favourite dinosaur is. Awesome, isn't it? So basically, we're going to level this off. I don't want it all water. It's like flipping water world. I think. That's probably a bit too much. I know, no path. Calm it down. Calm it down. Don't worry. So basically, I'm going to put, obviously put his um, stuff back. I'm not going to just have let him have no trees. It's a bit mean, isn't it? But um, I'm going to build him a nice little fence. I'll build it around here. This is where I built mine last time. Not copying much, honest. Build it a nice little circle around the water. Build it straight now. Where the hell's a fence? Sometimes it is actually hard trying to see the fence. I'm going to bend it again. Bend it like Becker's. I don't know why I call it Becker's. I'm just going to make it straight. There we go. 
Bob's a good one. I don't know why I said Bob's a good one. Job's a good one. <laughs> Basically, we're going to get... Oh, what are you wanting? Head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. Welcome. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our I mean, hi. under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, oh my God. everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Here's the expedition center and they're kind of awful. So basically, they give us little tasks here and there, which is pretty cool. It's to make more or less earn your money. Uh, I put a little gate in there for the ranger team to get in, even though we don't have a ranger bit in it. I'm going to put a track around there because eventually you can get um, a viewing bit and you can view it. Basically, the, the audience can view your dinosaurs and it boosts your rating up. I'm going to get him a nice goat. There you go. I think someone said you can. Did you know, I watch a preview thing where you can name the goat? Can you actually name the goat? Oh, for Christ's sake. I hate clicking on things. All I get is this guy. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder Go away, Finch. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> right. So you can actually can name me go. I'm gonna call it Roadkill because that thing is just it's dead. That's all really. I'm gonna leave this dinosaur in this enclosure unnamed because I want hopefully one of you guys to name it. And there we go, that's our road connected. Sweet. So I'm going to get the AC unit to get poor old Bob out of death's doorway. So all you do, click away. The AC unit is going to come in and mince him up. No, they're just going to come and tranquilize him. I don't think I've actually put anything in the herbivore pen. I'll put one of those in there. That looked like it was floating there. Oh, it does, it does level it out, that's good. I thought it was going to be a floating bush. Everyone loves a floating bush. See, for the end of this episode, I'm going to let loose. Has he minced? What a shit. Damn, son! Basically, he's just minced him up. I know. To to so basically, we're going to get the transport team in to pick him up. Click on the dino. And then, wherever you want him. Just click away again, and they come in, pick him up. That is some fast service right there. And they're just going to come in, put him there. Jobs are good, and we've got a gate going into the herbivore pen. I'm going to make this a herbivore pen. Um, I actually think I've made this a bit bigger this time than I did last time. But I actually haven't put any trees back in the poor guy's pen, even though I said I was going to. I'm going to put some trees. Make him have a nice bushy area. <laughs> But there we go. There's a there's shrubbery! So the shrubberies are in. The dino's gonna get lifted into there. Are you ready for the mean machine? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. I'm mincing this. Basically, I always like to keep my expedition teams doing things all the time. I just like to send them out. He's gonna go off and do his business because if you can't if you don't want that dino. And you've, you just say you've got enough research for that dino, you can just sell it. Sometimes you can't though, because sometimes there's not a demand for that dinosaur, which is a shame, but never mind. So basically, he's safe now. Bob is safe. Don't worry, Bob. I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. Even though they've just seemed to drop you on your head. Never mind. Are you ready? Are you ready? He is a boist. The animations of them coming out of the door is epic. Can't wait to see the Rex. He's gonna absolutely kill us. That is a beast. If Bob was in here right now, this dinosaur would have rogered him, to be honest with you. Basically, these are all the needs. <laughs> Basically, some are social dinosaurs. This one, obviously, isn't it? Probably could go with another of its kind. I think I did. Yeah, I think I might do that. I'm going to give him a buddy eventually. 
So basically with this dyno, this is basically going to be our kind of pen to where we're going to put the dinos because I don't really want a carnivore running right into the herbivore pen because that will just equal death. So, <laughs> so basically I am going to get the AC unit, come and trank old unknown guy. You can name this dinosaur. You can name this dinosaur. So message in the comments if you want to give him a name because the poor guy don't have a name. Well, he does, and I'm not going to pronounce it. He's called a Karatarosaurus. There you go now. I, I really don't think it's called that. Anyway, I would go and... Do you know what? I'm probably too late. Pilot helicopter. Pretty hell. Let's go and try and shoot Dino. Years of playing Battlefield has gone downhill. Did I shoot that? No. Yeah, weeshed. I don't want to over trank him. Oh. Um. <laughs> what? 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 Is he falling asleep standing up? Oh. <laughs> I thought he fell asleep standing up. That's like me on a daily basis, falling asleep standing up. Right, here we go. Let's transport this poor dude. He just fell on his head. There's a lot of dinosaurs falling. I'll make sure I don't put him actually in the, the area of where the, the poor pedestrians are because. Basically, they'll, they'll end up dead. You can't let your dinosaurs run right in the park too, which is even awesome. Not that I would do such thing, maybe. Maybe, come in. Or like so, something loose. I think that might be cool. So basically, we've got a fast food we need to make and a clothes shop. We've got to research that. I think we'll probably leave that for the next episode. Basically, this episode has just been nothing but them talking. That guy is just taking his sweet time. Lifting that dinosaur. Poor old roadkill is just thinking, oh my god, there is a dinosaur floating over here. And it doesn't even have wings. Poor old roadkill. Can we, can we zoom in on roadkill? Flipping out his little fast demon. Why can't I zoom in on roadkill? Oh, that's why. Roadkill! Stand still. Why can't I click on roadkill? Even though I eat roadkill. <laughs> Never mind. Unless you click on that, do you? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it just. Oh, nice, nice bit of machinery there. Poor roadkill, you're going towards the dinosaur. It's like, I can't take life anymore. Alright, let's see. Old unknown dinosaur right now is getting dropped into the smoke of oblivion and landed on his head. Here we go. Is he going to see roadkill? I have no idea what's going on because I can't seem to... Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Is that how you do it? How does this camera work? Whoa. Oh, God. Roadkill, run! Did you, just, did you just slip on your backside there? Oh, God. Roadkill. I'm so sorry, but... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't actually know you could swap the camera around like that, otherwise I would have put the better view of poor Roadkill getting minced. But there we go, we're going to end the episode there on a high, especially for old unknown dinosaur. Please name him, the poor guy's lonely. And did our helicopter come back? I'll tell you what, we'll see what's come into here. And then we'll go, oh we've got an amber for a trike, that's even awesome, Emma. So we're going to extract that one. Uh, should we extract that? No, should we? Yeah, we'll risk it for a biscuit. Basically, we're going to... These are the ones you can sell. Basically, no dinosaur DNA to extract. These ones here are selling. So obviously silver. We're going to silver dino. You get a bit of money too, which is even cool. And it puts your, found, found, puts your funds up. I'm going to get that one too. We're going to make one hell of a trike. And next episode, we will try and do these research, and we're going to do a fast food restaurant. If you like this episode of Jurassic World Evolutions, I've waited so long for this game. And at last, I can give you my view on the game. And I can play it for you on my channel, which is even more awesome. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then fair enough. It's fine. It's okay. I'll just cry in a corner. I've been fried badger. Oh. Trikes on the way, catch you later.